Hello, Coloritaville. This morning we are going to, well, I won't say this morning because you never know when, when we're going to get this finished. Today we are going to uh, swatch and test and review the Shuttle Art colored pencils that I got in my purchasing spree. spree. Uh, I've got the 80 set that we're going to do first and then we'll do the 172 set. I am going to speed up the video uh, throughout the swatching so and add a little bit of music for you so that you're not having to sit there for hours and hours while I swatch these and then I will uh, come back into voice after that and go through and tell you what I think of them up to this point uh, after I am done swatching I will do and doing the review I do apologize there's a train suddenly going by um, after I'm done doing the swatching and the reviewing, I will uh, actually do a comparison between the two sets. I'll go through and pull out the colors that are, are close or the same from the two sets, and we will do half a picture in the artist grade, and then we'll do half a picture, half the same picture in the in the lower grade. Well, what they say is a lower grade. It may not even be a lower grade. It may just be the same, just more colors and different barrels. So we will see um, how that goes and uh, make that comparison and do a head-to-head -head, uh, color off with the two of them. Until then, I'm going to uh, actually start swatching these. So I will um, speed up the video at this point and uh, get going. All right, thanks. I will be back and you will watch the swatch and it will be all good. All right.
Hey guys! Alright, so we've got all the swatching done and that took a little while so I'm so glad that I can speed that up for you. If I could swatch that fast I would be even happier. But we've got them all swatched out. The 80 set is here. Um, you know, they went down quite nicely. There are a couple of differences and, and discrepancies and those I'll go through with you and I'll compare them. But we've got all of those ones down, all the way down to, let's see if I can bring this down to the browns, the orange reds. Uh, we've got the earth tones, purples, blues, into the teals and greens and the grays. Now they call this cinnamon, which I think is gold. And of course, you know, I've got black and white down here on the bottom because I didn't have enough spaces and I wasn't going to do a whole new sheet just for two. So those are the 80, which are the artist grade. And then we've got um, the 176 set, which I had a couple of problems with this set. Um, some of the colors, all of the colors laid down quite well, but some of them um, fractured a bit. So when I was coloring, I would the tips would break off and just shatter a bit on the hard areas. So the 176 took a little while longer, but there's a lot of pinks, a lot of purples, not very many reds. Um, the, the, most of the reds seem to be in the brown areas. So, and for some reason they call this peach and it looks ready pink to me. Same with the bright pink, it looks a little bit like a dark pink. And then we've got lavenders into the teals and sapphire greens, green blue colors into the peacocks and that sort of thing into the green. Let's see if I can bring you up a bit. There you go. And into greens, into the grays. And then after the white here, we have the metallic colors. And the metallic colors, I didn't put them in to their, their family because I wanted them separate. So we've got some really nice metallic colors. They went down quite nicely. See that, that definitely says gold <laughs> and this one they said metallic orange but it looks more like a copper to me and then of course the silver and that's the swatches they the swatching turned out pretty good like I said we had a couple that like mineral green here uh, the aqua green that completely shattered while I was sharp while I was doing the swatching so I had to sharpen those now the pencils that I, we're going to look at, I've, I've taken the time and went through and pulled the colors that are exactly the same in a um, proper color arrangement because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two little bins here. One has the artist grade in it, which is these ones. And one has the regular ones in it. Now, after sharpening them and taking a look at them, I'm going to place them out here. I found that the um, these ones here, which are the from the 176 set, they're a little bit thinner than the ones from the artist grade set, the um, leads are a lot thinner. The artist grade set does have a thicker um, lead in it. I'm just going to move that up so you can see. I had some troubles with, I think it was this one, in sharpening it. Uh, as you can see, it's got a bit of a, a fracture there and the lead keeps on fracturing off. I don't know if you can see that. 
see if I can bring it up closer. If you can see, there's a chip in the lead there. And after sharpening it three times, I finally got it to a point, even with that little bit of a chip there. So hopefully it doesn't cause too much problems. That one does seem to have an off-center lead. So that's probably the problem. These ones here were very simple to sharpen. They went into the sharpener, no problem. Got sharp right away, didn't have to sharpen it over and over and over again. These ones here, some of them I had to sharpen more than once just to get it to a point, like this one. This one here is also gonna have a off-center because you can tell with the wood there. So it looks pretty center to me, but it is off just slightly. But on top of that, we have a couple of colors that are um, not the same in the set. They have the same name, same number, but different uh, colors. For example, the warm yellow here in the artist grade set is number 136, and it's definitely a yellow. However, the warm yellow in this set is the same number, 136, same name, but it's a browner, oranger color, much different color. Another thing is the raspberry red is number 27 in the artist grade set. Now, the other set does not have a raspberry red, and number 27 is actually a peachy color. Let's see, I put an asterisk next to it, so I'll be able to tell you right away. Sorry about that, I shouldn't have closed it. Uh, salmon pink is what number 27 is in the 176 set. Other than that, all the numbers are exactly the same. The lavender and lilac are the same number. Uh, the teal and the aqua green are the same numbers and same, pretty much the same colors. The oranges are the same color, um, same name, same number. I do have a couple of them that uh, ones like one set didn't have like the raspberry red, so I'm going to replace that with scarlet, which was closest to the color that uh, that I wanted for the raspberry red. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this set of colors and we're going to. I know it doesn't need to be arranged that way, but we're going to actually color this picture. One side we're going to color with the artist grade, and the other side we're going to color with the basic grade. And we're going to see how they differ from each other. So we're going to start with the light yellow, I think. Just make sure I'm coloring on the right side of the page with the artist grade. And it does go down quite nicely. It is a very light, light yellow. There's no scratch or anything like that. I'm trying to do this without uh, putting my hand in your way. Now I'm going to actually bring the camera down a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here. So just give me a second, because I've got to adjust it. There. There you go. Now I'm just going to adjust the focus a little bit for you. There you go. Okay. So that's the light yellow, which is a creamy yellow, which is number 114. And we're 
we're going to do the other side in creamy yellow, which is number 14. Now I am finding that I have to press a little bit harder on this one to get any color out of it. Okay, now we're going to use the warm yellow and we're just going to go do the inside here with the warm yellow. But we're not going to put that one away because we're going to use it again in a minute. And then this side here with the warm yellow. Now as you can see the warm yellow on the 176 side is a bit of a brown color. It's an orangey brown color. And then we're going to take the... Uh, we're going to take orange regular old orange. We're just going to fill in these. And then on the other side of course is orange. So orange is number eight and number eight. So they're exactly the same name, same number. Now we're going to take uh, lilac, I think. Yes, lilac. We're just going to do this center area here. And then we're going to go over that with the lavender. Okay. So it looks pretty good. And the lavender and lilac of this set are the same numbers in the other set. So 123 and 41, lavender and lilac. And in this one, 41 and 123. So they're the same numbers. Now let's see if they're the same color. So this lilac yeah, lilac is lighter and less red. The other one has a little bit more of a red color to it. This is probably should have chose a bigger Mandela, I think. One with more, more movement. Okay, now we're going to take, oh, get over there. We're going to take teal and we're just going to go around the edge here. I'm sitting further away than I normally do, so I'm having trouble seeing where my pencil's going. So the teal is number 163 in the artist. And that is not teal. Where'd my teal go? There's teal. And 163 in the regular as well. Now, because these leads are a little bit thinner, I was able to get a finer point on them without any waste. So that's uh, one good thing about having the thinner pencil. And it seems to be a little bit darker than the other one. 
I don't know if that's because of the softness. These ones seem to be a little bit harder, but they still go down quite nice. And they are very well pigmented on both sides. So we're going to keep that one out as well. All right, so we're going to take our reds and we're going to actually first we're going to take this darker orange and the bright orange and we're going to go out and outline these a little bit. Now I need the bright orange, which is this one. Now this is bright orange 101. And this one is also bright orange 101. So the, the colors are very close to each other. Like I said, the, the artist grade ones are th a thicker lead or core, I guess would be the word. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the 176 set. Now I won't say a basic set because, you know, it's got more colors. It's, you know, that sort of thing. But, uh, it's not classified as artist grade on their box or anything else. So I'm taking the red, it's just red number six, and I'm just going through some of these. And then I will take the darker color and I'll go around the rest of it. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly, but so that this video isn't 6,000 miles long. Ooh. Yeah, this is scarlet. I was going to say that's the wrong red, but it's not. So the only one that I could find that was close to um, the other color that I don't, that doesn't uh, come in the 176 is the Scarlet. Um, the Raspberry comes in the artist grade, but does not come in the 176. Instead, they've got Scarlet, which I did not see in the other one but I'll have to look, might be in there. I know that mulberry is, and I should have actually just grabbed that one instead of the raspberry, but I didn't want it to be too dark. So as you can see, it covers quite nicely, and quite quickly. which is great. Okay. The benefits of the 176 set, of course, is more colors. Uh, the benefits of the 80 set is that uh, the cores are thicker. The pencils themselves are a little bit, a little bit thicker. They seem to be more centered, less likely to have breakage and problem sharpening. Um, the colors are, are pretty close to each other. The numbers are exact. However, some, some of them I have found, and you will see what I mean, um, one, one area is lighter than the other. And sometimes it's on the on the 176 side, sometimes it's on the artist grade side. So and this is probably not the best match for this, but But 
but the quality seems to be there on the pigmentation of both. Um, the artist grade are a little bit creamier. You don't get, get a scratchy feeling from them at all. Some of the 176, you get a bit of a scratch. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've got all of the white spot covered. Put its best fit, foot forward, so to speak. Make sure that I haven't missed any. Like I said, I'm doing this pretty quick, so. All right, so that's the reds on the regular side. Now on the artist grade side, we've got number six and number 27. Number six is the same number as the red that we did on the other side. Number 27 is different. So this will be the same, but the uh, darker area will be a bit different because it's a different color because I couldn't find raspberry in the other one. So we'll see how close it is. Okay. Now with doing these little tiny areas, I'm finding that those the 176, because they are easier to get into a tighter point, seem to be a little bit less hassle. I can probably sharpen these to a tight point, but uh, the core is a little bit softer. So it would probably eat the core pretty good for me. Okay. That's pretty close. The raspberry and the scarlet are pretty close. Pretty close to the same color, I think. I'm not going to do all of it. I think we'll just do this area and then the next area in the two blues, the two tealy blue colors, so that you can get a good understanding or a good representation of both sides. Now I did go through and a lot of colors do have the same name, same numbers. They are a little bit different. Like I said, on one side it'll be a little bit lighter, on the other side a little bit darker, a little bit more red and an orange or that sort of thing. So there is a variation, but all of the names are still the same. All of the numbers are the same. Um, of course, the 80 set only has 80 in it. So the benefit of the 176 is that you get a lot more colors. The only problem I had with a few of them was breakage when I was trying to, to do a heavy area in the swatch book. The light area went down just fine, but as soon as I put any pressure on the 176 set, a couple of them just broke. So it all depends upon how heavy handed you are maybe. There may be one that requires a little bit more finesse. And that's very messy, I'm sorry. I don't know why the trains are running so much tonight. The trains are running quite a bit this evening, I think. Yes, I know I started this video this morning. It took me a very long time to do the swatching. And by the time I was done, my hand hurt. <laughs> so I took a bit of a break and cleaned my garage. Now I'm just going over the red areas again, just to make sure that I've got 
everything all filled in. Like I said, these uh, artist grade ones are a little bit thicker, so getting them into these tight areas is a little bit more difficult. So there's a little bit more white spot than on the other side. So you'll have to go over it a couple of times just to fill in that white spot. Now I'm not having to blend a lot, so that's good. But you can see a difference in the coloration between the the two, even in the in the red, there's a bit of a difference. All right, I'm going to take this one, which is the dark teal. I'm just going to We're going to do a bit of testing on blending two colors together and see how well they blend. Now I know that's a bit of a difficult thing with uh, mandalas because there's not a they're very compartmentalized. There's not a lot of areas that come together as one, which is great when when you don't want to. Oh, that's the wrong side. Sorry. Going the wrong way. But when you don't want to um, do a lot of blending and just want to do a really quick straight color, the mandalas are great for that. Now I am getting a bit of a, a scratch in this one, so I'm not sure if it may have picked up a piece of dirt or something. Because it wasn't there earlier. So it may have picked up a bit of wood or something off of the pencil sharpener. Or it might have a bit of grit in the lead, I'm not sure wasn't there earlier, so I think it's just something in the sharpener. Which kind of, yeah, is a bummer, but what are you going to do? I'm running through the sharpener again, I think. Just to see if we can get rid of that. Yep. It's just from the sharpener. Okay, so I'm almost done with this part. And this is the last part we're going to do. And then we'll compare each side to each other and see what the differences are and what uh, what the similarities are. I know it's really small and um, maybe difficult to see, but we'll do our best. I just don't want to keep you guys all day, all night, <laughs> watching me color. And because I've been talking through the whole thing, I can't really speed it up. Otherwise, you're just going to hear me, 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 <laughs> which is just annoying. My voice is annoying enough. Let's not speed it up. Okay. So just going over that with the lighter color, which is the aqua green, which is 134. And then we'll take that teal again and we'll just brighten up those edges. Let's see how well it blends together. I think it does pretty good. Yeah. 
it seems to blend together quite quite well which is good without a without a blending pencil which is good on its own too Such a pretty color. I like aqua colors, they're so pretty. Okay. And we're almost done here. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful day today. Mine has been quite busy. I have, of course, only got half of what I want to get done done today. But that's always the way it is. I set myself up some goals and the next thing you know, uh, the day is gone and you still want to have a nap. <laughs> that's the way my days go anyway. My dog's a little bit irritated with me today because I didn't have a nap. She knows what time it is, I swear. She always knows what time it is. Come 12 o'clock, she knows I'm going to have something to eat. And then my tummy's going to get upset and I'm going to go have a nap. And that did not happen today. So she's a little bit upset about it. A little perturbed. So these do seem to blend together quite nicely. It doesn't overpower that color and does draw it out a little bit. So that's pretty good. Now these ones are a lot softer. So they are more of a layering type of pencil. Oh, I think I just did a boo-boo. I just did a boo-boo. I just colored the wrong thing. So that one I'm going to have to remember to do half of in the teal <laughs> instead of the aqua green because, yeah. But they do seem to be a really soft pencil. So when you sharpen them, don't put a lot of pressure on them because you will be sharpening them again soon. So as you can see, this one here is already starting to dull down and I just sharpened it. Same with this one. And even if you turn your pencil like I do, with soft pencils, it'll hold the point for just a little while. And you can bring part of it back, but you never get a, a full hard point unless you do sharpen it. This is a, a mandala out of the little book that came with this, the artist grade shuttle art picture uh, pencils. So I figured it would be the best type of paper to try this on. Since it's what came with them, you would assume that they'd be a good pencil grade paper. Okay, so that's the artist grade ones done. Now we're going to take the teal and the, there's the teal, which is 163, same as the artist grade. And the aqua green, which is 134, also same as the artist grade. Now remember that both of these are shuttle art pencils. 
And like I said, the this one here holds a point a little bit better. They seem to be a little bit harder, which is also a little bit more fragile. So be careful when you're pushing hard on them. If you don't, if you don't want to be patient and do your layering, you just be careful because you're going to break your tip. But they do seem to hold the tip a little bit better, even with a, a firmer hand. Like I'm using a bit of a firmer hand here, and they seem to be holding that tip a little bit better. They're still pretty soft, but they're not. And this light um, aqua green is a little bit darker in these ones than on the other ones. So I don't know if it's a darker color or if there's just more pigment in this pencil. It looks like a darker color. So we're just going to blend that in a little bit. Doesn't seem to blend as well either. It's, and it's a bit scratchy. Like I said, that could be the paper, that could be my pencil sharpener, that sort of thing. I'm not using any difference in pressure on this light green, light teal, but it does, uh, or light aqua green or whatever color it is, it does seem to have a big difference in color than the artist grade and it doesn't blend nearly as well with the teal. Okay. Nope, I almost did it again. Got myself in a hurry now, so my brain's trying to do this as quickly as possible. I always feel like I'm going to lose your interest because it takes so long to do these sorts of things. And I should have set it up before, but I thought, well, you, you know, I've watched videos where they've already done the coloring and that sort of thing. And that's all fine and good, but I can't see how they're laying down. You know, if I can't see how they're laying down, then how am I to know whether or not you've gone over that with a, bl a blending pencil or if you've gone over that with some mineral spirits or something to smooth it out. You know, how am I supposed to know if, if you had problems with breakage or how much pressure you're putting on the pencil, you know, how much pigment is coming off with a uh, light hand, you know, things like that. So if I do the picture while you're watching, then you have a better understanding of how I'm doing it than if I was just to color it and say, okay, I colored this one half with these pencils and one half with these pencils, and this is what I got. You know, can you tell the difference? You know, and sometimes you can tell the difference, sometimes you can't. Now, with this being such a small picture, I'm really hoping that you can tell the difference. But I don't know if you'll be able to. Now, this one is a little bit scratchy. And it's a whole lot darker. Yeah, it's a lot darker than the other pencils. Like I said, they don't seem to blend 
nearly as well just by using a, a, the color itself to blend. Okay. Maybe, no. I really need to do something a little bit more with that purple too, but. Because it's just such a small thing there in the center. It's hard to see. I lost my point. Seems to blend a little bit better if it's got a fresh sharp. But uh, it's not pulling into the light as much as I would like it to. It just seems to be sitting on top of it instead of blending into it. So let's just go over it a little bit more. See if we can just blend it into it here. Okay. It's a little better. Like I said, this uh, lighter teal green does seem a little bit darker than with the artist grade. So having the darker color does make a huge difference when you're trying to blend a slightly darker color instead of having it a, a lot darker. You just don't seem to get the same effect. And I think that's just something out of my pencil sharpener that's making that scratchy because it wasn't doing that before. So I'm just going over some of these darker areas again. that's the darker ones. So as you can tell, the, the this side here, let's see if I can get that to... Oh, this, this aqua green on the artist side is definitely a lighter color. than on the other side here. Um, the raspberry is much lighter than the, the scarlet. The two reds, this red seems to be darker than this one. This one seems to have a little bit more orange in it. Those ones were the same as, you know, this is darker than this side. So the outer areas as well. The teal is actually darker as well. The creamy yellow is darker on the artist side than on the uh, regular side. But the orange is redder on the regular side than on the artist side. The same with the bright orange. It's a little bit more red than on the artist side. 
the warm yellow, the, this one here, is almost a, a tan brown, a sandy color here, where it's an actual yellow on this side over here. The lilac, I do believe it's the lilac, has more of a red tone on the artist side than it does on this side. And the lavender looks pretty close to the same. But that is the differences between these two. Like I said, the, the regular ones seem to have a harder core, easier to get to a sharp point, has a smaller core. The, the wood is pretty close to the same. A little bit lighter. But you can tell the difference in the size of those cores. Let's see if I can find the lighter aqua green. Yeah. But you can tell the difference in the, in the colors as well. Those are both aqua green. They're both number 134. But look at the difference in the core. The core color is so very different. And with the teal as well, these two both are teal, both 163. But look at the difference in the color. And the core thickness, the thickness of the cores is completely different. And the, the benefits of having a thin pencil like that uh, having a thinner core is usually the core is really hard so you can easily get it to a nice sharp point and keep it at that point longer. These are definitely softer. The artist grade are definitely softer. They are a lot butty, butterier if that's a word. A lot more buttery. They go down very nicely. I didn't have any problems whatsoever swatching them, which is wonderful. Um, they do have a, a goldy color. They call it, you know, orange, but no, they call it, uh, what color did they call that? I think it was ginger. It was a little strange to me. Let's take a look here. I'll show you. It looks orange to me or uh, gold to me, but they call it ginger. Yeah. Nope, they call it cinnamon, sorry, but it's a metallic goldy color. The metallics do have a shine to them. So there's the metallic goldy color and silver. So it is a brownie metallic, but they do have a bit of a shine. And the 176 metallics, that is more of a yellowy green metallic in the gold. But all, all the metallics have pretty good sheen to them. They all seem to have a bit of a silver metallic in them and the reds have a bit of a gold. With swatching these and coloring with them a little bit, um, for a, for a, the size of set that, that they are, uh, both the artist grade and the basic, they have their own attributes that are really good. Like I said, the artist grade are really soft, really buttery and that sort of thing. Um, the regular ones, the 176 set, are a bit thinner, a lower quality in the wood, and a harder core. So they're easier to get into a nice sharp tip. So I've colored with all of these and their tips are, are all pretty much still pointed where I've colored with all of these and had to sharpen them once. 
and a lot of them the tips are are blunted not this one because I didn't color a lot with it but the red I colored a bit with the dark red the teals the ones that I colored a lot with even though I've I've sharpened this one and this one the tips are blunted and I did the same amount of coloring with these and the tips are pretty much sharp all the way through and I only sharpened this one and that's only because it broke off a little bit now the disadvantages of having a sharper uh, or a harder tip like this is if you press hard on it it is going to break there's a couple of defects in the leads on this set where some of the leads have little chips in them and and a little bit of uh, drying in them I don't know if that's a deal breaker or not um, like I said I like being able to sharpen into a really 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 fine point so that I can color around edges especially in small things like this small little mandala so with that being said I I think both sets are wonderful both sets have their attributes I wish that uh, the colors matched up better but it just gives me a, a different shade of the same color which is fine too and with that um, I like both sets would I buy them again maybe not but I've got so many pencils that as a starter set both of these sets are fantastic um, the basic grade would be perfect for somebody just starting out in coloring books and just getting the hang of it the artist grade is a wonderful next step up um, set and you know they they are above um, a lot of sets and I would definitely give these to anybody I knew that was starting out in coloring or you know just getting the hang of it or somebody that uh, is doing really really well because both of these sets will create beautiful pictures it all depends upon the ability of the artist and and you know most times it doesn't matter what the pencil looks like or what the pencil does for one person it will do something completely different for somebody else so it's all style and uh, ability a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, the pencil itself unless the pencil itself is really bad and sometimes you get really bad pencils and these are not really bad pencils these are, these will will make some beautiful beautiful pictures and with that being said and my ch my challenge to myself being done on whether or not I was going to you know be able to get the same results from both sides of, of this spectrum for the shuttle art pencils and I think they did pretty good I'm gonna back you up here a little bit so that you can get a better view of the entire picture and the sunlight is coming right in my window so it's causing it to have a bit of a pink on it so I do apologize I'm just going to bring that into focus for you so as you can see with it being further away this side is a little bit lighter than this side especially in the teals and in the reds but altogether both sides are, are very lovely um, I'm quite sure if I did the entire picture and showed it to somebody nobody would be able to tell the difference between the two which is to me wonderful so with that being said I thank you so much for watching um, if you do decide to join us over on our Facebook page that's uh, the cozy coloring corner at Coloritaville there is a link in the description below I will place a link for both sets of these uh, colored pencils as well as the swatch book by Patty Duffy who uh, has made this wonderful swatch book and she has a new one coming out that I will be reviewing for you as well in the next couple of days 
and keep on watching the videos uh, take a look at the previous videos and uh, you know of the hoard and um, of the uh, haul that I got from my little shopping spree um, there there is a couple of surprises in my last video and uh, you know watch it all the way to the end to find the surprises happy coloring um, and enjoy yourself always uh, de-stress release and relax with that being said have a great day and uh, we will see you again soon bye bye for now